everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Becca and in today's video we are going to dive into the Creative Notions package for February 2020. If you don't know what the Creative Notions package is, this is a monthly subscription box specifically curated for quilters and sewers just like you that features fabric and notions and other goodies. Now, I know I said this was a box, but these are actually squishy packages. It's not going to come in a box. It's going to come in a padded envelope and down inside will be a cloth bag with all of your goodies inside. Let's dive in and see what we got this month. This um, makes me happy because I can use this to re-gift. And I feel like every month these bags just keep getting better. Okay, so the first thing we have this month is a pattern. It's called the Double Pinwheel Picnic Quilt. It's gonna measure 55 and a half by 55 and a half inches. And it looks like a lot of fun to make. The paper is a nice heavyweight paper, almost like a cardstock. The font is easy to read and there are full color illustrations down inside this pattern. Thanks, Vicki, I like this. I had to go searching for it, but Vicki always put some little extras in here and my extras were actually inside of my background fabric, which I'll show you in a minute. We've got a couple of Starbursts. Pink ones are my favorite, yum. And then we have a pair of dangly earrings. I don't do danglies because I have studs that I like to keep in my ears because I'm afraid if I don't, I will lose them. And I don't really think that I can pull off danglies very well. But let's check them out. They are very lightweight and they're a super pretty color. Those are the earrings in this month's box. Can't forget about the Starburst. Mmm. I love Starburst, especially the pink ones. <gasps> Laura! Your recipe was selected for Creative Notions. I know you. So we have a recipe for Goober Fudge by Laura Veach. She is a viewer of this channel. So hi, Laura. Uh, it looks like you're going to use some cocktail peanuts, some condensed milk, raisins, vanilla extract, and chocolate chips to make this Goober Fudge. Mm. And then on the back side of the card, there's some lines there so you can write another recipe or just... Um, add notes about her recipe. I don't know. Creative Notions is currently doing a Zappy Dot thing where they give you a Zappy Dot. If you don't know, know what that is, you can check it out over at www.zappydots.com. It's essentially a little circle with a decorative theme on the front and a very strong magnet on the back. And you can change them out or just put them on your fridge for display. They look like little magnetic buttons. So I'm guessing down inside this little envelope is this month's Zappy Dot, and I think we might be due for a piece of jewelry, which we get every three months. Not like jewelry like this, like jewelry to display the Zappy Dot. Let's open her up. And we did. We got a keychain this time with our Zappy Dot already attached, and I think this is probably going to be my favorite. The Zappy Dot this month is actually glued onto the keychain. It is not magnetic so that you're not going to lose that cute little token. I love this and I'm probably going to put it on my keys as soon as I'm done with this video. In January, we got a planner and Andrea, who works with Vicky, left a tip in the comments of that video that every month for this year, we are going to get a little something to use in our planner. And this month is the same thing. The planner that Creative Notions came out with is called the Maker's Planner. And this is a sheet of stickers that we got for that Maker's Planner. There are several sheets in here, it looks like. Ah, there are. There are four sheets of stickers. They are made by Sugar and Spice Studio, specifically for Creative Notions. And I'll just give you a look at what the sticker sheets look like. There's one. There's two. There's three. And four. So these are the stickers that we got to be used with our Creative Notions planner. Okay, I couldn't be more excited about this month's package because there is all of the items that I need to make an entire quilt top. Some subscription boxes out there give you a little bit of the fabric that you need to make your project, but Vicki this month has gone above and beyond. She's given us our pattern for a not too shabby double pinwheel picnic quilt, which will measure 55 and a half by 55 and a half inches when it's complete. But she has also given us 
all of the background fabric that we'll need, two yards, and she's given us a fat quarter for all the cornerstones that we're going to need, and she's given us two charm squares to make those double pinwheels. It says the fabric is called Not Too Shabby. It is a combination of beautiful quilt shop quality fabrics that were especially packaged into charm packs exclusively for Creative Notion subscription box by Midwest Textiles and Supplies. And if you're not really good at making double pinwheels, I've not tried them, so I can't say that I am. She gave us two packages of foundation paper piecing pads to help us make the components of our double pinwheel. Let me show you what they look like. These will make seven inch blocks that will look like this when they're finished. And you're probably gonna take four of these a piece to make one pinwheel block right here. Each one of those papers probably makes one of those quadrants of your double pinwheel. I can't wait to get started on this quilt top. Okay, guys, that's all I've got for this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you liked what you saw, leave me a comment down below and subscribe to my channel. When we hit 1,500 subscribers, I will be doing a special giveaway. And that's it. If you want to learn more about the Creative Notion subscription box or sign up yourself, you can visit Vicki and her crew over at www.creativenotionsquiltshop.com. I'll see you guys later. Bye.